Hey everyone and welcome to my brow tutorial. So this is basically how I do my brows. I tend to like using this beautiful little thing. This has basically got everything that you need to create the perfect brow. So you've got a wax, you have a light brown powder, you have a dark brown powder, a concealer and then a brow highlight. And I also will always use the Brow Artist brush. So this brush is a double ended brush. It's got a small um, angled side and then a small flat squared side. So just to start off with the brow, I'll just get grab a little spoolie and then I'll just comb the hairs. And then going in with the angled side of the brush, I'll just kind of wipe it into the wax, wipe it on my hand. This will just help to neaten up the brush. So if you have any like um, hairs that are kind of spreading out a little bit, the wax really helps to neaten the brush up as well. And I've just dipped it lightly into the darker shade. A little bit of this powder mixed with the wax really goes quite far. So I'm just starting kind of in line with my pupil. Creating the arch underneath and then I'm creating the arch on the top. Now I do tend to kind of overdraw my brows on the end especially to kind of give them a more rounded effect because my brows are quite angled. If I literally just filled in the brow it would be way too kind of right angled look which isn't really the kind of look that I do want to have. I'm just using the darker shade just going to be filling in between these two lines. Like I said, a little bit of product really does go quite far, so for this part I'm not really putting any more product on the brush, I'm simply just filling it out, filling it out, filling it in <laughs> between the two lines and then softly blending those lines out so they're not as harsh looking. Doing this also helps to create that more ombre effect, so you're not going to end up with like slug brows. So just going in with a bit more wax and now going into the lighter powder. And this is the powder that I will use for the start of the brow and I'll tend to flick this powder upwards, um, basically just following the natural kind of line of my actual brow hair, line, direction would have been a better word, natural direction of my brow hair, that's better, and then just blending it into the darker powder, and then just blending the powders together using a spoolie and just neatening up the whole brow look. So now using the other side of the brush, so this small squared side, I'm just going into a bit of the wax and then putting a bit of the pink concealer on the brush. Now the concealer is really good to neaten up the brow, so just to kind of neaten up maybe any mistakes that you might have made, it also helps to brighten the brow and kind of carve it out to make it look a lot more crisp and kind of highlighted and then just lightly drag the line down a little bit to kind of blend it into your makeup look so that you're not just going to get like a pink line underneath your brow. I do tend to also do above the brow just to kind of neaten up the end and the arch. So now we're still using the flat squared end of the brush going into the brow highlight shade and I'm just adding this to the brow bone. And 
Now, I do tend to pluck at my own brows, and I actually quite like to do it when the brow is already filled in, so that I'm not going to get too happy plucking the hairs. So I'm not going to end up with like pencil thin brows. So I tend to just get any little hair that's out of the lines that I've filled in. So now also, I do tend to have to trim my hairs because they do tend to grow quite long. Um, I only have to do this probably once a fortnight. But again, just using some um, baby nail clippers. Well, scissors. Just to neaten it all up. And there we go, guys. That is my brows done. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. And I will speak to you soon.